To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. What's up guys, it's Mr. Jamban, and we are back for another episode in our series on how to master competitive Pokemon. Today's video is going to be another video that elevates something you've previously learned. So, we've already discussed switching from a beginner level, now we're going to take it up a notch and discuss switching in an intermediate level, introducing double switching. You learned in the earlier videos the concept of switching and switching as a means of defending yourself. But that's not the only way to use switching. It can also be used as an offensive asset. Double switching is the act of switching a Pokemon in just to switch it out without clicking a move. Now you may ask, why switch a Pokemon in if you're just going to switch it out? That's a good question. Basically, it's about gaining the upper hand. You may switch a Pokemon in on the opposing Pokemon's attack, but afterwards you realize that he'll do the same to you, so instead of allowing him to switch into his counter or check as you attack, you switch out that Pokemon into another Pokemon that beats the Pokemon that he was going to switch into to beat yours. This prevents you from losing momentum. This is where the prediction aspect is fun. It's all about having the upper hand. This is just another level to the skill of switching. Just another method you can use to give yourself the edge over the opponent. The ability to do this will come after quite a bit of experience. Because you will need to know beforehand what the opponent will switch into before you decide to double switch. You must be careful with this skill however. When you double switch, you don't attack that turn, so if the opponent does not switch into the Pokemon you were expecting, but instead stays in and attacks, you may find yourself in a bad situation. So when is the appropriate time to double switch? It ultimately comes down to your game plan. If in order to execute your game plan, you need to have a certain Pokemon on your team to be on the field against certain Pokemon on the opponent's team then utilize the skills to its utmost. However, if you do not need to double switch in order to carry out your game plan, then refrain from using it. It's a double-edged sword. Try not to get cut. And that's gonna conclude today's video. If you enjoyed what you learned and found it valuable, pick up a copy of my book, The Art of Competitive Pokemon. This is an ebook that teaches you everything you've learned up to this point in more detail with more examples. The link is down below, so go pick up your copy right now. All you need is the free Kindle app in order to read it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.